Hi, Mark Tewksbury here for Queer Queries, the questions sometimes even gay people don't know the answers to. The query for this episode, it's a very personal one. Somebody's obviously been surfing around marktewksbury.org, but they asked, what is the Special Olympics? Even though this isn't a specific gay-related topic, there's a lot of people within our community that volunteer in the Special Olympics movement. But more importantly, it's a movement of inclusion, which I think is very fitting for this show. So Special Olympics is the world's largest sport organization for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. They literally use the power of sport to transform lives by building confidence and having somewhere to go for people to build community. It's an amazing organization. I was introduced to it way back in 1988. I was coming home from my first Olympics in Seoul, Korea. I had a medal, but I was kind of disappointed with my own performance. On top of that, there was a Canadian, Ben Johnson, that had been tested positive for steroids and brought a lot of shame to that team. The mood for the Olympics in Canada was very negative at that time. And I remember being invited to a Special Olympics swimming competition to hand out medals. And the joy and spirit and love and hugs and energy in that room was transformative for me. It reminded me of the joy of being in sport, the, the power of it, the fun of it. Sometimes when you get to the highest level of elite sport, you forget the fun. So it was a really important kickstart for me falling back in love with swimming and continuing four more years to end up winning the Olympics in Barcelona. So thank you Special Olympics for that reconnection to the power and passion for sport. I stayed with the movement for quite a while in the 1990s, joining the foundation board to try to raise money for Legacy. Anybody that knows me knows that Legacy is a really big part of my life. I took a break and, and went back in 2009 to join the board of directors. And I've been there, I'll be retiring from my board seat in September of 2021. I'll have been there for 12 years. It's full service, but it's been amazing. In that time, I got to be the honorary captain for Team Canada at the World Games in Los Angeles. Close to 10,000 Special Olympics athletes from over 185 countries all over the world marched in the opening ceremony and had an amazing week of competition. As I was marching in, they, they put celebrities with every delegation because it was LA, of course, and it's celebrity heavy. And all of a sudden, I'm hanging out with Special Olympics athletes and there's Justin Bieber. And he was amazing with the kids. It was really a phenomenal experience for them and kind of shocking for me, but really fun. I was the chair of the board of directors for our 50th anniversary. So the movement was founded in 1968 by Eunice Kennedy Shriver and a Canadian, Dr. Frank Hayden, played a big role as well. It was a fun year to, to celebrate our history, history, but also to get a research chair in Dr. Frank Hayden's name so that in perpetuity there'll be studies of Special Olympics, the movement, how it impacts society, etc. Really amazing milestone. It's all about the people and that's what makes Special Olympics so amazing. The athletes will never forget you once they know you. You're good for at least 100 hugs every time you go to a competition. Can't wait to get through post-pandemic COVID world so that we can hug again. But I'd just like to hear from you. What's an organization or cause that you feel really passionate about that you would be willing to give 12 years of your life? Comment or like below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Mark Tewksbury channel.